Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. This is Kelly with Kelly Travel Adventures. We're at boat ramp 11 and what you're looking at right now is Rebecca Creek. We're going to walk on down here. The wind's blowing pretty good today. We're going to walk on down to the boat ramp. It's February the 29th. About 70 something degrees out here. And like I said, this is Rebecca Creek, which runs into the Guadalupe over there. So we'll take a quick look at this boat ramp and see what it looks like. I'm kind of stumbling around here. Pretty rough territory. stumps in the water and this is a better view up there is the Guadalupe River okay let's go take a quick look at the boat ramp there just kind of working around people here You can see it's great for kayaking. And there it is, it's a one holer. And it puts right into Rebecca Creek. Walk around here. As you can see, this here is Schultz Creek that comes in here. Which it goes right up there and ends. And if I can get by this without falling in the water. This is Schultz Creek, and that's a campground across over there. See the picnic table and stuff. Yeah, we'll see if we can get out of here. And there's the sign right there, boat ramp 11. Let's get us a better look from up in the air at what this place looks like. And once we're up there, I'll try to show you where to go once you launch your boat in the water, which way to go. It'll be interesting. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Up we go. Notice there's no people. I told them all to go home. <laughs> now, I actually filmed this on a different day because I knew the white bass would be running pretty quick up the river on their spawn and this place gets pretty crowded but I wanted to show you what it looked like from up in there with no people around this is Rebecca Creek what you're looking at, at by the field up there and the water's flowing towards us the one that runs parallel with the boat ramp that's Schultz Creek there and we're looking, coming down, looking at the parking lot. Kind of looks neat with the, the cracks and stuff in the parking lot. The different designs you can see from up in the air. And that's my old 88 Chevrolet Blazer there. And you can see on this day there wasn't a soul around too much. This area up here is still considered part of Canyon Lake. Uh, Canyon Lake runs all the way to the US 281 bridge anything downstream from that is considered Canyon Lake and upstream is just the Guadalupe River the white bass that are in Canyon Lake and in the river they start a spring migration up the river to spawn 
and they go way, way up the river, maybe almost to the US 281 bridge. They like the swift, shallower water to lay their eggs. What you're looking at now coming up is going up towards the Guadalupe River, down Rebecca Creek, towards the Guadalupe River. And there you have it, right there where it makes the T there, that is the Guadalupe River. To the left-hand side is Canyon Lake, and to the right-hand side goes upriver towards the rapids. Look at them shadows from them big dead cypress trees. That's almost a, that's a good reflection right there. But anyway, so this is coming down Rebecca Creek. If you want to go catch the white bass, you go up here and take a right. If you want to go towards Canyon Lake, to the right takes you to the rapids, to the left takes you to Canyon Lake. Now, if you go to the right, be very careful up here. There's a lot of stumps and stuff in the water you can hit with your boat. There is so the other way going to Canyon Lake. Either way you go, you got to be really, really careful because there's a lot of obstacles in the water, as you can see in these pictures. And this here, that uh, straight across the river there, that is Demijohn Bend. And now you're looking upriver towards the first rapid, US 281 bridge. San Antonio is probably in that general direction. And then coming back, if you wanted to go towards Canyon Lake, then you would take a left. And as you can see, there's a lot of obstacles out there, too. Over there where them cars parked, that is called Devil's Hollow Creek. And you actually pass that on Highway 306. And this here is an old uh, boat storage shed. All this floods when the water, if they get a lot of rain in Kerrville comfort area, this area all floods when the Guadalupe River comes down because Canyon Lake will back the water all the way up to here and to the 281 bridge and further. Okay, you put your boat in the water and you're ready to go and you're headed out to the river. You're going to go to the first rapids and fish or you're going to go to Canyon Lake. Whatever you do, have a little courtesy and common sense. There'll be a lot of kayakers out there, people fishing, tied to trees and everything. Don't go blowing by them in your big boat and, you know, send them big waves and everything. They're just have, trying to have a good time themselves. So a little common sense, a little courtesy goes a long way. This here you see right now is a uh, Picnic area, campground over there. I think it's called R&R, &R, but there I go. I'm thinking again. That means I don't really know. And here's the uh, road coming into the boat ramp. Now, you have to go through a subdivision to get to this boat ramp, so drive slow. It's like 35 miles an hour through there. Go 35 miles an hour. Don't get everybody upset, and then the next thing you know, they're closing down this boat ramp because too many people are griping about speeders. Just uh, slow down and obey the rules. Now, this is a good look here, aerially, of the boat ramp. Got Schultz Creek going parallel with the boat ramp. You go to the right of this picture, that takes you to the river. That's Rebecca Creek that the boat ramp actually goes into. I guess you'd call it the mouth of Rebecca Creek and Schultz Creek. This little boat ramp gets pretty busy from about the middle of January, February, March, April. About the end of April it starts lightening up. But that's about when the white bass run is completely done with. And that lightens it up a lot. Because this boat ramp here to get to the first rapid, this is the closest public boat ramp to get to the first rapid. So, as you can imagine, it will get really, really busy at the springtime of the year. No trash cans at this boat ramp, so you know what that means. Pack it in, pack it out, leave the place cleaner than when you got there. 
I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe found some useful information out of it. Don't forget about a thumbs up. Please subscribe. And if you come up here to Canyon Lake, have a great trip. Be safe up that river. There's a lots of stumps and stuff in the river. But with all that being said, we'll talk later. And adios, amigos.